Hey friend, Roger Christofferson here again with another first listener review. I've just been pumping them out this weekend because it is freezing and snowing and all kinds of crap here, so I couldn't think of anything better to do today than sit around and listen to all these great albums that came out this weekend, because there was a lot. And uh, normally don't do this many, but uh, you know what the heck, why not? Get uh, people knowing what's out there. I actually found this one by accident. I didn't know it was coming out until just recently, and uh, I recognized the names, and I was like, oh, hey, I gotta check that out. Uh, the name that I really recognized was Gary Peel, which uh, is a guitar player who was with Sammy Hagar for years, uh, you know, all the way through VOA, and then joined Boston right around the third stage. I can't remember if he was involved in the recording of it or not, but it's kind of funny that I saw that because I actually did a a paper in high school on Gary Peel for one of my English classes, and uh, I, you know, I obviously don't remember all of the stuff, but I've been following him for that long, so, and uh, I know he's kind of like not the super well-known guitar player to a lot of people, but uh, for some reason I stumbled on him back in those days when I was first learning how to play guitar, and I just really liked his style and what he did, so, uh, yeah, so I've been following him for years. Now, the singer on this is Mick Devine, he's with the band Seven. And he's got a couple solo things out. And I have those albums uh, that he's done with Seven. I don't think I have his solo one, but uh, Seven was a good band. I, I actually just listened to one here this past year for whatever reason. I pulled that out and do it again, not knowing this was coming out. So, yeah, really a good singer. Um, the band was kind of formed accidentally, I guess. There's a uh, an album called Turkish Delight, which was a bunch of different people that... Uh, this escape music um, group or company or record label or whatever was making an album that got a whole bunch of different people together and they recorded a bunch of different songs and I can't I honestly can't tell you if they're original songs or cover songs I've had this CD for quite a while and I keep going to listen to it and every time I do I grab something else instead so I'm gonna actually have to grab that and probably listen to it after this and uh, because this is re this album is really good and I, now knowing how good it is I want to go listen to that but anyway the uh, one of the guys, an owner, I guess, I don't know, uh, his name is Khalil Turk, uh, was working with Gary on one of these songs and wanted to know, you know, what drummer, or, you know, what, if he wanted to be involved in it, and he, he wanted to change the drum track, and so he got a guy he knew named Josh Devine to play drums, and Josh Devine had played with One Direction and a band called Lavara, and if you guys get a chance to check out Lavara, a little side note here, great band, it's got like Steve Lukather's son in it, um, Josh Devine's in it, and then a singer who I'm not familiar with, but a really, really good album. Just check it out. I think they broke up already, but anyway, the album's still really good. Um, anyway, you know, they work on some stuff, and out uh, of the song on this album, I guess, and asked who should uh, sing on it, and Josh recommended his dad, who was uh, Mick. So that's uh, pretty cool. And then they got together and then started writing songs for an album, and uh, it turned into this. Um, so. That being said, there's a lot of uh, special guests that they invited in to be involved in this thing too. They got Tracy Ferry on bass guitar, who was with uh, Striper in Boston. Not sure if they're still with Boston or not, but uh, possibly. Paul Taylor on uh, keyboards on most of it. He played, which he, if you don't know who he is, he was with Alice Cooper for a while. And then him and Kip Winger, who was playing with uh, Alice Cooper too, uh, formed uh, Winger. And then they have. Uh, on three of the songs, they have Lawrence Gowan playing keys on three of them, and he's from uh, Sticks, in case you don't know, well, the current lineup of Sticks anyway, and he's got a solo career um, on his own. And then uh, the rest of the album has got uh, some other people, Neil Miller, Miller, who I'm not familiar with, and then it looks like a bunch of family members, Lynn Devine and Ben Devine, who I'm assuming are related somehow, and Scott Peel is on guitar, who I know is Gary's son, so... Uh, and this is mixed and mastered by Daria Malo, so, I mean, they got a lot of big-name people, at least I think they're big-name people, people I know, been involved in music for a long time, uh, involved in this, and uh, it paid off. This is a really, really good album. It's got, um, the, like, the sound of it, I would, it's kind of going to be hard to explain, it's kind of a Americana, but more melodic rock and AOR oriented, so it's kind of like picture Tom Petty, but more pop, I guess, with a bigger production, but still sounding a little bit Americana, um, if that makes any sense at all. 
Uh, not really country rock. It's more AOR, but it's got little tinges of that type of feel in there with the, the big choruses and the catchy and the, the, the way the, the lyrics are written are more storytelling type lyrics in this. Um, the standout tracks to me were like, how long? Once I got to that song, I was like, wow, that's a really killer song, really good chorus. They're all good, but uh, that one really, really stuck out. Avalanche was another good song, track number seven. And then the, the last one, they're saving from yester- your yesterday's, was, was really good. Um, like, this is standout tracks to me anyway. I don't know if you're ever going to hear any of these on the radio or anything. Um, it's probably going to be one of these It's you're just going to have to find kind of like I did, which is kind of the reason I'm making this one, because it's really that good. It's worth checking out. Um, you know, you have a chance to check out any of uh, Gary's other bands, because he, he's uh, actually done a couple side projects here. He was, did one with Robert Berry called Alliance. They got a, at least two albums out. And they had a project called All 41 with Matt Starr was playing drums on that one, and I really wish I could remember who was singing that, because there was actually somebody else singing on that one, and uh, it's slipping my mind right now. It's one of those Frontiers projects. The Frontiers does tons of projects. It was like a one, one-time deal, I'm sure. Um, but, you know, anyway... Uh, really good, really good album. I was really happy with this one. I'm probably gonna grab that Turkish Delights one. If there's anything out there that these that you guys know of that's related to the stuff that I should check out, let me know. Let you know, everybody else know down in the comments. And uh, you know, if somebody out there has listened to the Turkish Delight album, let me know if it's worth checking out or not. Although I'm probably gonna go listen to it next year. It's either that or Arian. I got the the, the new Arian remaster remix. That's a really long one, though. That's a double disc. So maybe I'll go with Turkish Delights first. I don't know. We'll see. I guess we'll find out tomorrow and see which one I throw up on uh, <laughs> the reviews here. But, uh, yeah, anyway, like, subscribe, share, all that fun stuff. And uh, talk to you in the next one. See you.